वेलकम फ्रेंड्स मेनी डेज लेटर नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डी लूप रेप्लीकेशन मॉडल ऑफ सर्कुलर डी एन ए नाउ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दिस डी लूप सर्कुलेशन और रेप्लीकेशन मॉडल दैट दिस काइंड ऑफ रेप्लीकेशन मॉडल इज शोन इन बाई द डी एन ए ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्री और द जीन ऑफ माइटोकॉन्ड्री एज वी नो द माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डी एन ए इज डिफरेंट दैन द नॉर्मल जेनेटिक नॉर्मल क्रोमोजोमल डी एन ए विच यू कैन फाइंड द न्यूक्लियस दैट मीन्स द न्यूक्लियस डी एन ए सो दिस माइटोकॉन्ड्रियल डी एन ए अंडर गो द रेप्लीकेशन स्कीम विच इज कॉल द डी रेप्लीकेशन एंड वाट डू वी मीन बाई दिस डी रेप्लीकेशन लेट मी टॉक टू about this okay now in this uh, left hand side picture what we are having we are having something like so it's a circular dna as you can see just look like a plasmid of bacterial cell now this is uh, the actually uh, let's first talk about the structure of this uh, mitochondrial dna in little bit more uh, that the structure of mitochondrial dna is made up with two different strand one is called the uh, h strand uh, another one is called the l strand l strand means a light strand and h strand means a heavy strand now in this picture as we are looking at this blue color is uh, the l strand and, h, uh, and this light blue is the h strand or the heavy strand now uh, along this place as we are looking at there are two different origin of replication site present in uh, this two different strands of dna uh, that heavy strand is having one rep uh, origin of replication and uh, also the light strand is having one origin of replication so the origin of replication starts or the replication begins at the origin on h strand so this is the h strand uh, so this uh, this uh, red colored part uh, it is denoted with 3 prime this is the h strand as uh, as it is denoted by the picture that uh, replication starts here and new nucleotide sequences are keep on adding from this three terminal end and it is going on and circulating like that it is just like the circulation model of rolling circle replication if you don't know what rolling circle replication is uh, just uh, uh, turn uh, into our uh, into my website and look at the rolling circle replication model you will find it now in like all the different types of uh, replication circle uh, new nucleotides keep on adding at the 3 prime end because 3 prime is possessing the hydroxyl group and newly uh, uh, 3 phosphate group uh, of an uh, triphosphate are coming and they just attach with them and h2 releases from the place and thus they can make this backbone and uh, and this is keep on circulating and as uh, it reaches another origin of replication for the l strand as we can as you know that in the previous time the replication begins at the origin of uh, replication at the heavy strand now as soon as it reaches the origin of replication at the light strand what happens it starts to uh, it starts to circle it in the opposite way that means uh, for example you can see in this picture this pink color denotes uh, the previous or the first replication cycle it is going on through this uh, h strand it is replicating the h strand and as soon as it get uh, into this origin of uh, l strand replication it start to replicate this origin uh, this l strand and it is replicating in opposite direction uh in the pre from the previous time okay so now the direction is getting uh, anti clockwise in previous time we are seeing we are going clockwise in this case okay so right after this kind of uh, replication what happens these two strands dissociates with each other and as a result of the dissociation fully functional uh, uh, dna replication is done and uh, as as uh, this h strand replication starts before that's why it end up with first very first and Uh, on the other hand the l strand needs some time to be replicated properly and at the end we end up with two different dna segments okay that's how a, a, a d replication is done why it is called a d replication uh, I, i don't know actually uh, but still uh, it is a replication uh, forming d loop as you can see in this picture probably it, it is called d replication because it looks like a d loop formation in between that's why it's called the d loop uh, replication okay that's why okay now if we look at here uh, this is uh, the mechanism in schematic presentation you can also see this this kind of uh, region start from here and right after some time uh, it will go find uh, the another replication point and go opposite direction so that's all so go into a particular direction and right after it find an uh, the origin of replication for another stand it starts to replicate it in the opposite orientation that is the basic feature of d loop d loop 
uh, replication model uh, rather uh, 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 from other different types of models okay so that's it and I hope it will help you uh, but another important thing th this can find in case of mitochondrial DNAs and mitochondrial DNAs are important because mitochondrial DNA is having their own machinery of replication their own proteins for the replication but remember one thing that the mitochondrial DNA replication is totally fully controlled by the nuclear DNA so it is no not like that the mitochondria is totally satisfied by by its own but nuclear DNA definitely have a tight control on their replication on their copy numbers and all these things inside the cell so that is we tightly controlled but except for that this replication scheme is done by uh, the presence of the different types of protein inside mitochondria I hope that's gonna help you thank you